Hello guys, welcome back. Guys, uh, investing in cryptocurrency is actually very easy. All you have to do is uh, just set up an account on any exchange, deposit funds and uh, buy a favorite cryptocurrency. It's that easy. But if you're a long term holder and uh, if you're planning to hold a cryptocurrency for the future, then uh, holding it on any exchange for that amount of time is not a good suggestion. But if you're a trader and uh, if you're actively trading under spot or futures, then uh, keeping that amount uh, on exchanges, it's fine. But keeping crypto on exchanges that you don't touch for very long time, it's not a good suggestion. So if you're a long term holder, then my suggestion is uh, hold a cryptocurrency on a decentralized exchanges or hot wallet or cold wallet. Now, what's the difference between a hot wallet and cold wallet? Guys, hot wallet is nothing but a trust wallet or metamask, uh, which is always online and it's convenient for uh, frequent transactions. Cold wallets are nothing but uh, these little devices where uh, you can store your cryptocurrencies and uh, the private keys uh, will be offline. All right. Now, what's the difference between a uh, hot wallet, cold wallet or exchanges? Guys, exchanges like uh, Bybit, Bitget, uh, Binance, MEXC, uh, Bingx, these are all uh, centralized exchanges where uh, an entity, uh, a person, a team or an um, CEO will be running that platform. And if anything happens to that platform, uh, then you will lose your cryptocurrency. Guys, usually all these exchanges are safe, but uh, they are not act proof. You also what happened to Ozirix exchange and uh, Ozirix, they're doing horrible as uh, Ozirix video will be coming very soon. So guys, the amount which you trade, uh, keep that amount on exchanges, okay? And the amount uh, which you don't use and if you're holding it for long term, then uh, please keep that on decentralized exchanges or uh, wallets like hot wallet or cold wallets. So if you're holding your cryptocurrency on hot wallet or cold wallet uh, or decentralized exchanges, then you'll have a full custody of that. Guys, personally, I use Trust Wallet and Metamask, okay? So in this video, I'll be showing you A to Z tutorial from beginning to advanced level uh, on how to use, uh, how to create and use a uh, trust wallet. All right. Now, before we start, uh, guys, in case if you're new to this channel, uh, I'm Vasu and you're watching Technoas. And guys, if you're not following me on my Telegram channel, then uh, do that now. On my Telegram channel, I keep updating all this crypto related stuff and uh, very soon I'll be sharing uh, free future trade signals also. So the link to my Telegram channel uh, will be in the description of this video. Okay guys, now without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, those who don't have account on Trust Wallet, uh, guys, I'll give you a uh, quick tutorial. Just go on to App Store or Play Store. Uh, in the search box, uh, enter Trust Wallet. Click on Install. Click on Open. Click on Get Started. Alright, here you have uh, two options, create new wallet and uh, the other one is uh, add existing wallet. So if you're new to this and uh, if you want to create a new wallet, then click on the first option, uh, create new wallet. In case, if you already have an account and uh, if you want to log in, then select the second option called uh, add existing wallet. Yes, I'm going to create a new wallet. Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, the first option. Now here you should select uh, like how you want to authenticate your wallet. Uh, I'll go with uh, secret price. Guys, secret price is nothing but uh, 12 words. Uh, that is the key to your wallet. If you have this 12 words with you, then uh, you can log into your trust wallet and access your crypto from any part of the world uh, 24 into 7. Now down below, you have two options. Backup manually and uh, backup to Google Drive. Backup manually is nothing but uh, manually storing your key price. All you have to do is uh, just write down the 12 words key price uh, on a piece of paper or in a book and uh, store it in a secure place. Now, if you go with the second option, then uh, your key price will be stored uh, in your Google Drive. Guys, if you ask me, uh, go with the first option. Backing up manually is much better option than uh, storing it in uh, Google Drive. And uh, this secret price is the master key to your wallet, okay? Now, you should tick all the three boxes here, okay? The first one uh, states that Trust Wallet doesn't keep uh, a copy of your uh, secret price. Which means uh, Trust Wallet uh, will never have a copy of your uh, secret price. So if you lose your key price, uh, then you lose your access. Uh, you lose the access to your wallet, okay? And uh, no one can help you. Uh, even uh, trust wallet also cannot help you. Second option, uh, saving this digitally uh, in a plain text is not recommended. Examples include uh, screenshots, text file, or uh, emailing yourself. So taking screenshots or uh, copying and pasting key phrases somewhere, or sending it to your uh, friends or girlfriends uh, on WhatsApp, uh, it's not recommended, guys. Third option, uh, write down your secret place and uh, store it in a 
secure offline location which means uh, you should write it down on a piece of paper or in a book and uh, you should store it in a secure place okay now click on continue so yes this is your uh, 12 words uh, secret place this is the key to your wallet okay so note down this somewhere and uh, click on continue now here uh, it will ask you the questions like uh, which was the first word which was the fourth word or uh, which was the tenth word so enter all that correctly here and um, click on continue now here you should create one uh, password for uh, trust wallet on your device this is for uh, it's like uh, whenever you open trust wallet on your phone now uh, it will ask you for the passcode okay uh, this is for uh, security purposes so yes guys my trust wallet uh, is ready now now to your uh, top upper left corner uh, you have this settings option so click on that now you have all these options here okay uh, the first option is wallets now here you have this option to backup your wallet okay guys if you are using uh, iphone then it will show icloud and uh, if you are using an android phone then it will show uh, google drive depending upon uh, which mobile phone you are using and uh, here at the top you have this uh, plus icon so if you click on this uh, you will get two options you can click on the first option and uh, create a new wallet or you can select the second option and uh, add an existing wallet uh, which you already have so either way uh, if you have multiple accounts uh, multiple trust wallets then you can all add that here uh, to this main account here now under price alerts uh, if you activate this uh, you will get notifications of uh, price changes of your uh, favorite cryptocurrency and uh, under address book uh, you can add your uh, friends family um, relatives uh, wallet addresses here guys all these options here uh, are all basic okay so you can easily understand everything and uh, under security options uh, guys try to use all the options available okay so that uh, your account will be as secure as possible all right now once you come on to your trust wallet uh, you will get this interface and here you can see that i have uh, five cryptocurrencies btc eth bnb twt and uh, if you want to add your uh, favorite cryptocurrency then all you have to do is uh, just click on this manage crypto option search for your altcoin here under this uh, search option I'll search for uh, ADA. I'll just uh, activate this. I'll also add uh, Solana, SOL. Yes, guys. Now both uh, Solana and Cardano is now available on my uh, Trust Wallet homepage. So, guys, if you want to add uh, any altcoin of your choice, then uh, just search for it, or uh, just copy the contract address of that altcoin and uh, click on this plus icon here and uh, just enter it. Okay, you'll find uh, the coin uh, that you're searching for. Okay, guys. Now I'll show you. How to deposit crypto onto your trust wallet okay guys now first i'll deposit bitcoin so i'll click on this uh, btc so there's uh, several options here but to deposit bitcoin now uh, you should click on uh, receive so here i'll be sending bitcoin from my other phone uh, i'll click on bitcoin click on withdraw on chain withdrawal Guys, make sure the network you're selecting uh, matches both uh, the sender's phone and uh, receiver's phone. Uh, I'll select uh, Bitcoin network. So here you can either uh, copy the address and uh, paste it here, or you can directly scan the QR code uh, just like this and select uh, how much bitcoins you wanna transfer, and uh, click on withdraw. Click on confirm. Now complete all the verification process, uh, both email verification and uh, phone number verification. So in another 15 to 20 minutes time, uh, BTC that I sent from this phone uh, will reflect on my uh, trust wallet. Yes guys, here you go. I sent uh, $100 worth of BTC from my BitGet account and uh, I received just uh, $92 worth of Bitcoin here on my trust wallet. And uh, this $8 deduction uh, is the network fee. Yes guys, approximately $7 to $8 uh, will be the transactional fee for uh, sending Bitcoin from any exchange. But if you are sending a uh, Bitcoin from Trust Wallet to any exchange, then the fee will be very less. Okay, guys. Now I'll show you uh, one more example. I'll transfer a uh, Dogecoin. Uh, click on Manage Crypto. Uh, I'll enter a uh, Dogecoin. Come back to home page. Click on Dogecoin. Click on Receive. And uh, I'll select a uh, Dogecoin on my Bitget Exchange. Withdraw. On chain withdrawal, scan the QR code and uh, make sure the network is same, okay? And uh, complete the verification process. And uh, here, the network fee for uh, transferring Dogecoins from exchange uh, is about uh, 4 Dogecoins. So, yes, guys, uh, it's been some time, and uh, here you can see that uh, on my trust wallet, I received my 
touch points and guys one more thing assume that you created an account on a trust wallet before and uh, you have a uh, bitcoin and dogecoin on your old device and after a while uh, if you log into your wallet uh, from some other new device then your portfolio will show as uh, zero so all you have to do is uh, guys just add bitcoin and dogecoin on your uh, trust wallet home page okay and you'll get your portfolio back and uh, if you swipe your coins uh, like this to your left uh, and if you click on disable then that coin uh, will be removed from your uh, trust wallet home page uh, yes here you can see that uh, my portfolio reduced from uh, 278 dollars to 91 dollars this is because uh, if the altcoin isn't on my home page uh, then that altcoin's uh, value uh, will not be counted okay even though uh, it's there on my wallet so guys my suggestion is uh, in case if you're holding tens or hundreds of coins on your trust wallet then write that down uh, somewhere and uh, make sure you have all the count okay or else you're gonna miss a few coins here and there okay guys now i'm gonna show you how to transfer crypto from uh, trust wallet to any exchange here i'm gonna show you how to transfer crypto to bitget exchange so to receive dogecoin on exchange uh, i'll go on to assets uh, click on add funds deposit crypto i'll uh, search for dogecoin and uh, the network is uh, dogecoin on my trust wallet uh, i'll select dogecoin click on send and address uh, i'll scan this qr code here enter how uh, much Dutch coins you want to send and uh, click on next and uh, click on confirm yes guys in another few minutes uh, my transaction uh, will get completed and guys one more thing uh, please don't forget to follow me on my telegram channel okay all my social media links will be in the description of this youtube video and guys if you want any other trust wallet uh, video tutorials or just like this then let me know in the comment section down below and guys uh, in case if you are new to this crypto industry and uh, if you don't know like how to buy crypto sell crypto or uh, which exchange to use guys in the description of this video i'm gonna give you a uh, five best uh, top exchanges list okay uh, you can select uh, any exchange of your choice so if you want to create account on any of these exchanges uh, then just click on the link uh, which is given in the description down below and uh, create an account and yes guys in case if you're a trust wallet user then let me know that in the comment section down below and uh, share your thoughts and guys one more thing other than uh, trust wallet uh, which wallet do you use let me know that in the comment section down below and guys please do drop a like on this video and if you have any doubts regarding this topic uh, then drop that in the comment section and guys uh, please do share this video with everyone and uh, if you are new to this channel uh, consider subscribing now if you are a subscriber then i will meet you in the next video until then uh, peace